Cybercrime is on the rise, and attackers are often highly skilled and well-funded. To defend against these increasingly sophisticated threats, your board of directors has tasked you with enforcing multi-factor authentication and device authentication on all privileged resources across the enterprise, plus just-in-time access for the company's most critical assets. Time to roll up your sleeves and get to work. The first step is to take inventory of all the privileged resources in your environment. You have a wide array of resources to take into account. Web applications, source code repositories, file servers, databases, and more. Further complicating matters, these resources are accessed from different clients using different protocols. Where do you begin with enforcing these new security controls on such a broad range of assets, clients, and protocols? Some clients can't be modified and don't support these granular controls. Enforcing the controls on servers requires manually installing and configuring security software on each server. Web applications require code changes for each application, which is no trivial task. And some applications and servers are managed by third parties and are out of your control. Is there an easier way to complete this project? Good news, there is. Rather than enforcing the security controls at the application layer, which is difficult and time-consuming, you can enforce them at the transport layer, thus eliminating the need to make manual changes to applications and servers. This new approach takes advantage of the fact that all of the protocols used to access privileged resources support key-based authentication. If all of the cryptographic keys are centrally secured, you can authenticate clients before they're permitted to use any key that grants them access to a privileged resource. This authentication process can include a variety of granular controls, which effectively enforces those controls on all privileged resources while removing the need to modify servers or applications. And, as an additional benefit, the enterprise's keys are always centrally secured in a non-exportable manner in a hardware device or key manager, making it easier to monitor access, pass audits, and maintain compliance. Visit www.guarantier.io to learn more about how this solution works.